Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a small Five Below haul for you today. Um, Five Below is becoming more and more one of my favorite stores to shop online with, alongside Miss A. But um, Five Below definitely because they always have such really cool stuff. Uh, back in Pennsylvania, if you go back through, oh, say maybe two years ago, I used to order a lot from a company named Holler, H-O-L-L-A-R, and they were out of Cali, I believe. Well, I was saddened to find out last year that Holler officially is no more, and um, <laughs> while Miss A is a really cool site to shop at too, I like Five Below because it carries a little bit of pretty much everything. So, uh, you know, without further ado, and I have a little bit of furry help with me today in this video, uh, let me get into my small Five Below haul. I finally, finally got around to ordering myself a new yoga mat. Uh, my yoga mats back in PA wound up getting ruined. They were put on top of my washer and dryer to protect from, uh, when the uh, jacuzzi and toilet in the one bathroom uh, was blocked and kept overflowing in uh, on Hollyberry Lane in Jim Thorpe. And so I left them there. I didn't bring them with me. So since I am getting back into my yoga, um, I ordered this one really pretty. It says, my favorite yoga mat. And it has a dual lotus on both sides. There's a lotus flower uh, design on it, which is really cool. And uh, their yoga mats are made really, really good quality for $5. So if you do need a new mat, don't go spending $20, $30 for a new mat. Check out what they have at Five Below. Um, you really won't be disappointed. I had two from them before, and they're they're really good quality. So next, I wanted a newer pair of slippers. Now these are a little similar to ones I had from Five Below before but they were at the actual physical store by below i didn't get them online um but these are gray furry plushy scuff scuffs and they have some traction on the sole which is actually good to go back and forth through the grass with um especially after it rains and um I had slippers from them in the past that lasted me like almost three years. So you know what, five dollars, they are pretty good quality and uh, very, very comfortable. So I chose the gray. Now this caught my eye, even if I don't use it right away, um, this still caught my eye, it's just so so pretty and something that I didn't expect to find on a site like Five Below. It's a metal and glass planner and uh, really cute to put uh, several um, little flower buds in. Really cute. Usually things like this, um, for example, go for at least $30, $40 on sites like Anthropology. Um, Pier 1, for example, anything more high-end like that. So seeing this, and it was only $5 um, from 5 Below, is actually pretty cool. And I believe they still have these. Another item I got, which was really cool, caught my eye when I seen it, um, is a circular shelf. And this was $5. And now it holds a maximum weight of 4 pounds, so it will be cute for knickknacks. Um, 
is just so darn cute. And again, um, I have seen online, you know, more expensive versions of these going for, like I said, $30, $40. So again, $5 from Five Below is uh, definitely uh, really good. And uh, it's attached well. As you can see on the bottom, the shelf is sturdy. And it's definitely just a, a really cute home decor item. Um, like I said, I won't be putting these up or using these right yet. There is one or two things that I want to be working on in the very near future in the bedroom. Um, which when I start, you will actually see. And then, um, I'm going to start using some of these items that I'll be getting. Plus, doing a little Halloween decorating too, but... That's a little bit down the road. Ah, let me see, let me see. Um, seagrass wall mirror. Now, I have got this to look really pretty. Uh, in the bathroom so I'm not going to totally take the bubble wrap off because it's going to get put away for a little bit but this is seagrass <coughs> wall mirror and again five dollars it's a 10 inch diameter um, really really cute again uh, item that looks high end but only cost five dollars I mean Come on, you know, you can't complain about that. That's like a really good deal. I know I don't need another pair of earrings. However, these just caught my eye as being so pretty. I just had to get them. Plus, they were only $3.25. And they are gold hoops with uh, red enameled roses on just so pretty um something different and i just thought oh why not now i can tell you that five below has a selection of books like you would not believe I'm really really impressed um and it, it's so hard to just pick one or two so i did uh i did grab a few um, and I'm going to show you them right now. The Complete Book of Dreams. A guide to unlocking the meaning and healing power of your dreams. And I thought this would be interesting to read through and Ronnie could read through because Ronnie has some really interesting dreams. They're not bad. Um, I very seldom remember my dreams. But when I do... I know it's trying to tell me something, but I can never figure out what. So, maybe this will help a little bit with that. I hope. <laughs> Next is the complete book of palmistry. Now, I think I mentioned probably years ago in a video at some point that my grandmother... Um, was a housewife, raising children when my grandfather was a truck driver. Not a long distance uh, within Hazelton, or within Pennsylvania. And my grandmother took a stroke, and I believe it was after my uncle Rusty. Um, she took a stroke, and this was before insurance. This was when wages were terribly low. This was when people just did not go to doctors because they couldn't afford to. And in their apartment building, there lived a... She referred to these people as gypsies. I know nowadays um, many people find that term to be offensive, and I do apologize. I'm not stating it too, you know, in a derogatory or offensive way. Um, I shall say that people who are perhaps Romanian, Yugoslavian, um, nomadic, with that type of background years ago, um, 
they were living in the building my grandmother lived in. And my grandmother got very close to the grandmother of that family. They helped my grandmother with cooking, cleaning, taking care of her children, rehabilitating her without benefit of a doctor or a hospital to walk again, talk again, write again after having a slight stroke. And she learned a few things from the grandmother. Um, a little bit about tarot cards, but she never taught me anything. Uh, something with an egg yolk and water. And again, she never really taught me that. Tea leaves. Now, she did try to teach me a little bit with tea leaves, but then she got sick. And I've always found that fascinating. And she had also learned a little bit of palmistry. So, that's where my interest in palmistry comes from. Um, so I definitely want to check this out down the road. I think it would be a fun read and never know. Um, maybe if I get good enough at it, uh, hey, I could do a different channel, maybe do a live stream, have people, you know, send me pictures of their palms and I'll pick a few and do readings or something. It would be fun. You never know. You never know. Hey, um, crazy things can, you know, become something valuable in a blink of an eye. So I'm open to any opportunity and anything good. Uh, let's see. I have, uh, let me see here. Um, okay, so that's something else. Um, let me see here. Ah, uh, it is called The Magic Book Bundle. Um, Herbal Magic, House Magic, Moon Magic. A Handbook of Lunar Cycles, War, and Mystical Energies. Um, herbal, it is, uh, basically teaches you about herbs, common ones, how to grow them. And, uh, quote unquote, the House Magic book basically is about making your own washes and things. Um, special floor washes and things for protection and such. But I thought it was really cute. The three book bundle for five dollars. I mean, you really can't beat that. So, um, let me see here. I do believe I have, oh yes, I have one more book. Uh, this is called Lighting the Wick. And, uh, it's a guide to, uh, the modern magic of candles. Basically, a history of candles, um, how they can be used with crystal grids, um, for the aromatherapy. Um, just a lot of positive, beneficial, and psychological um, benefits to burning candles. Um, I have uh, my eye on a book. I think it's in Barnes and Noble. Um, I know how to make candles with soy, with wax, um, but this book shows you how to make candles with things like um, Crisco, a very basic, very raw uh, bones, basic kind of candle making, but shows you how to make some of the most amazing looking candles in the house. You don't even need candle wax or anything, and I was really impressed. I was like, huh. Um, I miss not making candles, but right now, uh, I don't have the extra money to start my candle business up again. I would love to, but I would need to get a whole bunch of scents again. Um, a lot of them are left behind in PA. I have my molds and everything. I would have to get wicks. I would have to get soy wax. I would have to get the, uh, the acid plates that go in it to help preserve the wax and make it burn longer. Um, and the colors. I would need to get the color blocks again. 
and that would require i would imagine anywhere between three to four hundred dollar investment now originally months ago joe had wanted to finance me getting night side creations restarted the idea being that uh, for a three month trial run we would try to sell my candles in a um, a little store down the beach called Palmetto Peddlers. I was all up for it, but um, Joe's in a very tight financial situation since he lost his previous job. <coughs> and I just don't have an extra three, four hundred dollars laying around to do so. I would love to. I genuinely would love to make candles again. I miss it so, so much. Um, and I definitely would love to give it a shot selling um, in a little business, especially, you know, around her season would be nice. But I just don't have that kind of money to start it up. So, um, yeah, um, I don't know if I ever get a person who wants to go help me get it started up down the road and we could work something out, I mean, would be fun, would be nice. But for the moment, um, yeah, yeah, it's been over a year and I haven't made them. I do miss it, but, uh, a little out of reach for me at the moment. Alrighty, guys, so that is my small five aloha. Let me know your favorites in the comment section. And, uh, hey, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, and I do have a small subset of viewers who watch my videos but have never subscribed to my channel guys please take a moment and hit that subscribe button it'll really help my channel out a lot it really will it takes a second to do and click that notification bell for all so you are notified every time i upload a new video well take care and have a great evening i'll see you all on my next one bye